Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have another Harry Potter at Japan haul and this one is from Maho Dokoro. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it was an amazing Harry Potter store with so many unique finds. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Yes, we have quite the Japan haul today, and this was probably my favorite shop while I was in Japan because they did have quite unique finds in this store, and I cannot wait to show you everything that I got. Can't wait to get them out of the bag so I can start displaying everything, and I'm just very excited. So let's go ahead into the first item. All right, I don't even know what bag to start with. I think I'm gonna start with this like smaller one. So here is what the bags look like. It has a really cute owl post, little owl on there, and it has the Harry Potter logo. And these shops, like they had like one big shop, and that was right by the Harry Potter Cafe. And that one I think is always there. But then they had some pop up shops like in the train stations. And that's where I think I got most of this stuff was actually at one of the train stations and I got a few at the store by the cafe. I think I went a total of three times while I was in Japan. So we will start with this bag. And this is the shop name. I know I said it earlier, but I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but it was amazing and I would highly recommend it. If you ever are in Japan, you have to stop here. First item is probably one you already saw if you watch some of my vlogs, but this was a gift for my mom. She saw it and she wanted to buy it for me when she was there because it was my birthday during the trip. So here is the happy birthday Harry little like makeup cosmetic bag or you could put like any kind of thing toiletries the inside has a pocket which is really nice I don't know if it's picking up on the camera it's like all black inside but and then it has this nice lining so it should be easy to wipe clean and I just love it it's so cute it has like this terry cloth kind of material on the outside they had so many different cosmetic bags to choose from and this design is so cute and then it's just extra special because my mom got it for me. Next, with the Happy Birthday Harry theme, this is the Happy Birthday Harry tin and it's full of cookies. So here is the tin, it is a metal tin. So cute, I thought this would be so nice to display after I enjoy the cookies. And here is the back with the nutrition facts. Okay, let me take off this. Here is inside the tin. It is all nicely wrapped up. These cookies are so cute. Okay, put this one this way. You can see that here are the cookies. I think they're just like vanilla shortbread type of cookies that you can like dip in tea or something, but really excited to try these out. These are up my alley. I love like a shortbread cookie and they're extra cute. I will be eating these because I know they won't last forever, but I will be keeping this tin forever. Next item, oh, I got this keychain while I was there because they just don't have enough Remember All merch. Let me take it out of this bag. So here is the Remember All. It is a keychain. I think this is like one of the only keychains I ended up picking up. And I like that it's like a clip-on kind of keychain. You could add it to a bag or something like that. Now let me turn it on. This has a switch on the bottom here and you turn it on and it lights up red, which it is not picking up on camera at all. It's kind of a weak light. I think if it was darker, you could see it or the batteries already need to be replaced. I can't tell. Oh my gosh, this is, or is it turning red and then turning white? Can you even see that it's red? <laughs> That's a little disappointing. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out, <laughs> but I did get a remember all keychain, so. That is the sex item. I don't have the prices on everything, if I can remember them. I think I showed a lot of the pricing in the actual like vlog videos, if you want to check that out. If I see any of the pricing, I will put them on the screen though. All right, last item out of this bag. We have a Mina Lima item, and this is a Harry Potter badge of the Weasley's Wizard Weezes W, and I thought it was super cute, so I did pick this up. You can find a lot of this Mina Lima merch at like theme parks. They have it at the Harry Potter New York store. I'm sure in London they have it at the studio tours. They had it at the studio tour in Japan, but I saw it and I just had to grab it. So I got a Weasley Wizard Wheezes badge. Next we have this one and it's pretty light and squishy. So what do you think might be in here? <laughs> I got some plushies. <laughs> so this one's like a plushie pillow of the Monster Book of Monsters, and I thought it was so 
flipping cute. So here's the Monster Book of Monsters stitching, the eyes, the cute little mouth, and it's got a tongue sticking out like, how adorable is that? And then it says monsters on the bottom. It looks like pages. It's so cute. It's a great size. It's on the smaller side, like it's not gigantic. Let me compare it to the Noble Collection one, since I just had this off to the side. So in comparison to the Noble Collection one, it is a lot smaller. It's darker than this one, but it's so cute. Like this one I feel like looks a little more, I don't know, movie accurate, I would say, like realistic in the sense. And then this one's a little more like cartoonish in a way, I guess I would say. But yeah, they're both very cute and just a little side by side. Next. I grabbed another plushie and this one is of a pygmy pup and it's absolutely adorable. Like it's so cute. It actually has tongue sticking out. How cute is this? Do you see the little tongue? It's so cute. It's got like kind of like beans at the bottom so it's like weighted. I think it will sit up really nicely on the shelves. I'm gonna put on my Weasley Wizard Weezes shelf and it was just too stinking cute. You're like prop it up it won't stay on my shoulder but <laughs> maybe if my shoulders are flatter or something but it's so cute I feel like stitch it in if I really needed to <laughs> all right there's no more plushies in here but there are a lot of like little things so I will go to these next two items I grabbed a couple wash rags so it's really common in Japan for like you to use a wash rag to dry your hands, like your very own that you like carry around versus like wasting paper and stuff like that. So they did have a lot of wash rags in different stores to purchase and they did have some Harry Potter ones. So I grabbed these two. This one is the Hagrid's Hut one. Here's a close up. It says Hagrid's Hut on the bottom. You've got Fang, you've got his pink umbrella. It's really cute. And the other one I got was of the Burrow. So here's a close up. Really cute. Those are the two little wash rags I grabbed. Next we got lots of jewelry. <laughs> so I'm gonna dump everything out. First item's not actually jewelry. I'm gonna take it out of this plastic wrap. It's a pen. <laughs> and not just any pen. It is of the Basilisk Fang. Like how cool is this pen? super detailed like I feel like I could just display it on its own it has this little clear plastic thing on the bottom I cannot get that off this is what I'm talking about but I feel like without this you could display this on your shelves it's so cool so I had to get that all right, next, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic wrap because I grabbed these for like gifts for friends. And I had a Ravenclaw one that I already gave away to a friend. And then I got myself one of these, but these are hair ties. And I thought they were so cute. They had them in all Hogwarts houses. I grabbed a Slytherin for a friend and another extra Gryffindor one for a different friend. But I love this. I thought they were so cute just to like wear on your wrist, even as like an accessory on your wrist versus even you could put it in your hair when you need it. And they're just so cute. They're like a hard plastic bow with like your Hogwarts house crest on it. They're just very cute, like marbled looking. So if you can see that through this plastic reflection, very cute, love these. And I had another Ravenclaw one, super cute and pretty. Next is a ring and it's a time turner ring. It's so pretty. It's gold. Let me take it out of here. That is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my hand so you can see it on. But it has like the glitter filled in at the bottom and then kind of clear at the top so it looks like it has sand in it. It doesn't move or anything, but it's just so pretty and cute. It doesn't spin, but it is adjustable. So if you can see on this side, you can expand it or make it a little bit more narrow if you need to. But I will definitely be wearing this as like a staple piece for like a lot of outfits I can see in my future. <laughs> Keeping with the Time Turner theme, I picked up this Time Turner necklace and it looks just like the ring. They're like the same kind of design and it's very pretty. 
here's the back of it but yeah it's just a gold time turner necklace i love how like it's so tiny and dainty very cute next i got another necklace this one is of the ministry of magic stamp and I don't have like any Ministry of Magic. I know I don't have any Ministry of Magic jewelry. I know I have a few items, like I have a memo, like the little purple airplane, paper airplane, but I don't have a lot of Ministry of Magic things. If I do, I feel like it's like Dolores Umbridge, <laughs> but this one I thought was really cool and would look great with other outfits. They had a lot of great jewelry, so I did pick up quite a lot of jewelry. <laughs> This next necklace is of the Golden Snitch, and it's got like a cute little crystal kind of diamond. It's not a real diamond, but dangling there at the bottom. And I love how all of these are more on the like dainty side, so I feel like they would go well with like kind of like everyday jewelry. And like if you know, you know, but if you don't, you just might think it's a cute little jewelry piece I'm wearing. All right, last jewelry item is not actually even from the shop. This is from Universal and I missed it in my Universal haul. I guess I put it in the wrong bag. So I will show it to you now. It's some Time Turner earrings and this was from Universal Studios Japan. It says it was 2,000 yen. So like 1,000 yen usually equals like $6.50 in US. So if you're ever trying to like calculate stuff, that's kind of where I start and then I can figure it out from there. So they're about $13. They're really cute and dangly. I love these. Very pretty. We only have three more bags, but they still all seem pretty full. So let's go on to this next one. I had to actually toss the box that this came in in Japan so it would fit in my bag. That's how much stuff I bought. But here it is. It's so cute. It's the Niffler and this is a jewelry stand. So this Niffler you can like dangle some jewelry in his hand and it will look so cute like he's trying to steal it. They also had a Dobby version like this. I wanted both of them but this is when I was like okay Tiff your luggage is getting really full. You have to be more selective. So I picked the Niffler one because it I think goes better with jewelry because he likes to steal jewelry and how could you say no to that face it's so cute so yeah this was my little jewelry guy it has a felt bottom with some licensing information and i can't wait to display this guy with some jewelry in his hand speaking of jewelry we've got more so this one is of luna love goods quibbler and spectra specs as earrings and they're in this like really pretty like pinky rose gold very cute next this is like the matching necklace to those earrings and this is what it looks like it has like both of them kind of dangling there and here is a better view of them outside of that plastic box they're so pretty this next item is probably my favorite jewelry item that i picked up and i feel like it was a little more on the pricey side i can't recall exactly but these are like hand painted and limited so like once they're sold out they're sold out they still had them obviously when i was there but there are these really cute earrings of hedwig and fox of phoenix i'm gonna take them out of this little plastic baggie i will show you fox first so here is foxy phoenix perched up beautiful and elegant as always and next we have Hedwig also perched on like the same little archway and there's a little H for Hogwarts on like the stud part. I feel like I'm gonna wear these so much like they're gonna look so cute. They're dangly but they're not like too big and they just look so freaking cute together. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. They're so good. The last item that was in that bag and this one is going to be like a food houseware item and it's a little dish it looks like just a little white dish probably from there but it's not just any little white dish this one is for soy sauce and i cannot wait to get some sushi so i can use this next because this one is so cool it has the dark mark on it and i believe if you fill it up with some dark soy sauce you're still going to be able to see this since it is raised through the soy sauce and it does have like licensing information on the back. I thought it was really cool and unique. It'll go well with all my other like houseware items. 
and it just like looks super simple at first but then when you get a closer look you can tell and you can see the dark mark really cool right we're only on two more bags this one only has one item but it's a big item so i'm going to save it for last we will go into this bag next so this bag has some bags in it <laughs> and not just any bags there are some really cute flapper bags this one is a like crossbody and it's of the howler it's very cute like dainty and small here is a close-up so it looks like it's got the little wax seal it's got like a velvet bow on it on the back side it says ronald weasley and it has the address for hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry because that's where ron was when he received his howler and let's open it up so it has a little strap here for the crossbody here's the inside obviously stuffed with paper Ooh, I did not know this came with a little bag. What is this? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, before I show you, because I didn't even know it came with that. Here is a peek inside. You can see it looks like some like card pockets. And there's like the flapper tag. Okay. <laughs> this is also a pocket in the front when you open it up, which is nice. But let's talk about this. This is so cute okay so you have like a little coin purse that comes with it and it has the letter so it says Ronald Weasley how dare you steal that car <laughs> I am absolutely disgusted your father is now facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault if you put another toe out of line we will bring you straight home oh and Jenny dear congratulations on making Gryffindor your father and I are so proud that is so cute and it's just a little coin purse that is such a nice touch I did not know that was included with this and you can just slip it perfectly inside the purse all right next we have the every flavor beans little bag from flapper and this one just has this like tiny chain I think you just attach this to like a larger bag and you can put like some smaller items in here but it's a decent size and what I really love about it is how it has all this embroidery work and right down here where it says every flavor of beans and then like this part is kind of like printed on here but it's really cute feels very good quality here is the zipper and here is the inside it's yellow inside but you could fit quite a lot of things in here but this would be cute to like attach to like a backpack or something or like a tote bag and you can put some stuff that you want to like easily access but I thought this would display even really nicely so I had to grab it and I actually had this inside it I forgot about it and this is just probably a way for me to travel with this safely something from Starbucks it's this cute little Starbucks Japan ornament and it looks like a little coffee cup it was 1050 yen how cute is that so another little bonus item. All right, I think that was all the bags I got because the next item is another larger item and this one is so nice. Another one that I had to toss the box that it came with because it wasn't gonna fit in my suitcase, but I still managed to grab it and it's this really cool Hogwarts lantern. Let me take it out of this plastic. Here it is. So pretty, I wonder if I need batteries. Yeah, I'm gonna need some batteries, but let me still give you some close-ups of it. It has the Hogwarts crest on there, and that's metal, as well as, like, the frame of this, and then this is plastic. But right here, you can see, like, a silhouette of Hogwarts. It's a really pretty lantern. I think it's going to make great decor, and it does light up. You just need to put your own batteries inside it. And then on this side, it just says Hogwarts. On the back, it has the Hogwarts crest. And then Hogwarts again, and then back to the front where it has the silhouette of the Hogwarts castle. And it's absolutely adorable. I love this. I can't wait to display it. It's really nice. You could even like hang it from something because it's very sturdy. I have to find a spot for this somewhere in this room. Maybe even somewhere in my house. <laughs> Next, I got a wearable item, and it is some socks. They're just some Gryffindor socks. I thought they were very cute. I like the argyle like plaid pattern 
And then this is embroidered right here with the Gryffindora crest. And I just thought they were really cute. Can never go wrong with another good pair of socks. All right, last two items in this bag. Did you think I was gonna go this whole haul without some mugs? Because we got two more mugs. And these are like the most unique mugs I've ever seen. Probably some of my favorites now in my collection. And you know I have quite the mug collection. This was the first mug I bought. Here is the bottom of it. You're gonna be like, wow, that's pretty boring. It's just a pumpkin juice mug. Seems pretty basic, right? Well, it's not because it comes with this little pumpkin lid and it makes it so adorable. Like how cute is this displayed like this? So if you ever have some coffee, you don't want anything in it, put a little lid on there. You got this little pumpkin juice mug. It's so adorable. I love it. It's going to be perfect for fall time and pumpkin season and even like all year round, honestly, because how cute is that? Now this next mug, I saw it and I had to have it. They only had one on display. They didn't have any in boxes. So I asked the lady and I was like, hey, is there any way I can buy this display item or do you have more in the back? Cause I really, really want this mug. And she was like, let me go check. So she checked, they didn't have any in the back. And she's like, let me go get the box because I, so there's a box for the display one. And I got it and it's so cute gonna be a birdie bots every flavor beans mug with the best shape I have it together now how stinking cute is this mug this is probably my most favorite mug that I own now it is so cute I love the shape of it I love that it comes with the lid it looks just like the birdie bots every every flavor bean packaging and here's kind of a 360 view and the lid comes off. It's just plain inside. <laughs> I feel like I keep shaking with it in my hand. But how freaking cool is this? So cool. It's a good size. Drink my coffee. Yeah, this is probably my favorite mug now. And now we are on our last and final item and it is in this big bag that had to come with this like fancy plastic handle because it's so large. Let's take that off, which I thought was so genius. This is probably the most expensive item I bought while I was there, but I saw it and I had to have it. It is a Hedwig figure and it plays music. Got a nice fancy box. Ugh, gotta get it out. Look at this like little red bow. I don't know if this goes like on the item somewhere, but it comes with this little Hogwarts letter. It's like a little paper card. I don't know where that goes, but I will put it to the side to keep it safe just in case I need it. Plastic wrap. Here is a close up of this Hedwig figure. Absolutely stunning. How pretty does she look? And then what she's sitting on is like this stained glass. So gorgeous. 360 view. It's a little owl holding an acceptance letter. So pretty. And it does play music. So here's the bottom. You just twist it. And I don't want to get copyright strike, but play a little bit. It's Hedwig's theme, of course. But yes, this is my last and final item. I Absolutely love this. Probably my favorite item that I picked up on my entire Japan trip. I had to have her. She was one of the first items that I saw. This is another display item in one of the stores I went to. They had more stock at a different one, but I wasn't sure if I was going to see it again. So I was asked if I could buy it and this was the display one, but no regrets because she's stunning. I think she was around a hundred dollars for this one. So that's why it was like the most expensive item I bought, but absolutely no regrets because look how pretty she is. So that's going to wrap up today's Harry Potter Japan haul. And this is actually my last Japan haul. I do have more up on my channel if you missed them from like Universal. I went to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. I went to Tully's Coffee. And I did hauls for all of those. And they're already on my channel if you missed them. But let me know what your favorite item was from today's video down in the comments below. And if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!